we are on some EverQuest right now. This is the Fury on a V server. It's a EverQuest live server that I normally play my characters on. You guys, anytime I do raids or leveling or anything like that, it's pretty much entirely on this Fury on a V server. Um, anyways, we are in Riverdale right now, and I wanted to do a little pack opening video. There is a pack of Le uh, Legends of Norath cards that you can currently buy from the marketplace and some of the rewards you can get are pretty amazing. Some of them being weapon ornaments, uh, like with cool spell graphics and stuff like that, um, some cool mounts, and also a uh, illusion that I have wanted for a really long time and it normally sells for a ridiculous amount of gold, or platinum I should say. It sells for quite a bit. It's the dragon illusion and apparently you can get that from this pack. So, we're going to test our luck and we're going to see what we can get. Fingers are crossed. I really, really hope that we get it early on. You know, I hope we get it er at all. It would be awesome to finally get it. It would be even more awesome if I could get extras and then sell it. Or use it for my other characters, you know. Anyways, like I said, uh, we're in Riverdale right now. Because, why not? And for the sake of being themed for the video, we're over the Fool's Gold area, which is for rogues and stuff like that. Uh, but anyways, we're going to open this. We're going to open some packs. We're going to see what we can get. And uh, hopefully, we'll be lucky. So, this is what it is. It's called Legend of the Stormbreak. Features sets from Stormbreak, Travelers, Vengeful Gods, and Doom of the Ancient Ones. So here we go, here comes the first one. Prize combined shield ornament. Oh, that looks cool. It's a cool little shield that we can use on one of our characters. Um, let's see here, and we got this Dancing Dagger of Thunder, which I'm sure we've already looked at on here before, but it looks pretty cool. Next up. One more opening. That was that was the first one here for us. Aspect of the Bloodstone. I think this is the red golem. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is really cool. This is one we did not have as well. So this is already a win. It's not the illusion that we wanted, but it is a cool illusion. Look at that. It's like a really shiny blood excuse me, Bloodstone Golem. If you guys remember uh, Depths of Dark Hollow expansions, it's pretty much that illusion, but it's red. Very cool, very shiny. I think that one's pretty rare as well, so. It even has a benefit on it. It increases your armor by four. <laughs> okay, surely that's not <laughs> Surely that's not the only bonus to it. But you know, oh well. Uh, Ping's Penetrating Potions back. Aspect of the Eagle. Okay. So we've got two pretty rare illusions back to back. Got, it. got yourself a cool little modernized bald eagle type graphic here. I think this is like from the AVAX back in the day, but this is like the updated version of them. I mean, hell, two pretty rare illusions back to back. That's already a huge win. Huge win. Okay, so that was number three. Let's go number four. Come on, come on. Fine Dirk, Nimbus of Midnight. Uh, okay, this one doesn't show anything. Okay. Oh, that is a tiny little dagger. I guess it doesn't help that I'm, you know, in my halfling form, but... Okay, so that was number four. That one was nothing too exciting. Okay, so... Another combined dirk. Crystalline form, form of crystalline skittering. Ooh. 
Illusion number three. This one I've never actually even seen before. Crystalline skittering. All right. Okay, so already this has been a really good, pretty lucky run through so far. This one looks pretty cool. Crystalline skittering. Get you a cool little beetle graphic. Let's see. That was number five. Let's go for number six. What are we going to get? Dancing Blade of Fire? Oh, I think I already have one of these. Yeah, I do. Dancing Blade of Fire. It summons a pet. It's Yeah, it summons this, like, Blade of Fire pet that attacks for a few seconds. It's got, like, a 20-hour recast. So, not that cool, but, ooh, it's a great sword. So we've got a two-handed sword here. Nothing too fancy on that. It's got some cool engra engravings, but not really any graphics with it. This is number seven. Let's see what we got. Okay, so Staff of Bones ornament. Ooh, really gruesome staff here. Let's keep testing our luck, I guess. I really want that dragon illusion. Protective Mimic? Summon Familiar, Protective Mimic. Oh, it's a mimic that grants a small amount of protection, it says. Okay, but I... Neither one of those has a graphic to it, so... Oh, this is the mace. This has got to be a two-handed mace. Let's look at it. Oh, one-hand, or... No, that's that's a one-handed mace. That's just a really big boy mace. Wow. Cool graphic, though. Okay, so that was number eight. Pack number eight. Um, okay, we got another one. Oh, these are so useful. Uh, this will open your prize bag and grant you Ping's Potions Pack containing five potions of 50% experience boost, uh, po 10 potions of mana, and 10 potions of healing. Okay, that's going to be really useful for leveling. And we got another one of the form of crystalline skitterings. Okay. That was number nine? I think it was number nine. We got a another one of the pikes. What is this? Writ of the Eagle. Oh, grants you the custom title, the Eagle Eye. Okay, so that was number. 10. Come on, come on. King's Practical Potion Pack. That's another one of those awesome potion packs for 50% experience. Nimbus of the Gambler. Will this show us what it looks like? Is that like, <laughs> like random money falling out of it? like I've got random money falling out of my hands. That's super appropriate considering what I'm doing here. How much money this is costing me. Yikes, that was number 11. We still haven't gotten it, folks. Moonfang's Cub. Oh. Summons Moonfang's Cub. Okay, that's cool. I have like a little panther cub that you can bring with you. Okay, so this shield, however, this one looks like that's going to be pretty cool. Ooh, that's a cool shield. Got some cool like lighting dimming effects. That's pretty cool. I'll for sure use that on one of my characters. That was number 12. 
Two more to go, two more chances. Um, combined guitar. Okay, so we got a hand-to-hand -hand guitar. Not really a fan of that. Those weapons I've never really been a big fan of. And we got another one of the Nemesis of Midnight's. That was number 13. Are we gonna get it here? Nope. We sure are not. Yikes. That's a hundred bucks worth of uh, pack openings and we didn't get the illusion that we wanted. Um, I'm not even sure what the point of this mask is supposed to be. I mean, I guess it's a pretty low-level mask that you can equip at level 65 and it'll level up with you. Um, what is... let's see here. Okay, so a pretty cool dagger illusion. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, so we got Archaeologist Runic Belt, which is another... Wow, that's actually kind of an insane belt for stats. I can actually use that on my other characters that I've been leveling up. Because that from... Wow. From 65 to 80? That'll be a really good belt to, to level up with. And we've got this another fist piece, which this one looks a little bit cooler than the other one, but it's still a fist piece and I'm not a huge fan of it. I really like the old old school hand-to-hand -hand graphics for monks and beast lords back in the day. They just had colors. They were like the red ones that just like red auras or blue ones that had blue auras or yellow ones. I really liked those back in the day. I thought that was really cool. Two more daggers. Let's see here. Ooh, that's a cool little dagger. Looks like a ice, like frozen lightning almost. That one looks really cool. That one looks really, really cool. Cool little effect with it. Let's go again. Fingers still crossed. Spear of Bones, Writ of the Truth Keeper. Get you the title, the Truth Keeper. Okay. Spear of Bones. That's like that dagger we got, but I think that's like a two-handed spear graphic. Man, this thing is just going out of its way to get me everything that I want, except for that form of the recluse. Oh, here's another one. Look at that. We got a fourth really cool graphic. This one is spider. Damn, look at that. It's like super dark at some angles. Okay, so that's that one's pretty cool. I'll, I'm not going to lie about that one. Um, combined Lance. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. That looks like a harpoon. <laughs> that looks like a harpoon gun. That one's pretty meh. Okay, let's try one more time. Great Blade of Bones. Oh, that looks pretty deadly. Could use see a, a Shadow Knight using this. That would be pretty cool. And we got another potion pack. This one is five potions of damage shield. That's I mean that that's something. This thing is giving me all the weapon ornaments, but nothing I want. Another one of those pikes. Visage of the Vitric. What? What is that? Oh, gross. These dudes. Got the turkey necks and everything. I mean, it's another illusion, but... Damn. Should name this video Getting Every Illusion That I Don't Want. Spear of Bones again. Mace of the Avish again. This one is five gate potions. Definitely nothing that we need there. 
Sword of the Avish. Ooh. It's a one-handed sword graphic. That one's not so bad. We got another one of the Archaeologist Runic Belts for our alts. Another gobble gobble turkey neck illusion. This is such a shame. All of these in and just nothing. Brawl's battle hammer ornament. It's a big old hammer. Oh wow, that effect is going to be insane. That's going to be super good for uh, one of our alts, Hammer of Holy Vengeance 3. If any of y'all remember, there was a cleric weapon that dropped from Plane of Time that I think was actually called Hammer of Holy Vengeance that had this ability. It would, it would like hit an enemy and it would heal your group. That is going to be super helpful. That's actually pretty cool. Harness of the Flaming Beast. That amount. Ooh. Is this a amount? That's really cool. I've never seen that one. I'm definitely going to utilize that one. Spider. Oh, it's a pet spider. Another potion pack. That one's fine, Affinity. That is like the least useful thing that we could have gotten so far. And just like that. No dragon illusion. Wow. That is such a shame. Well, I mean, we got some cool illusion stuff, but we did not get the stuff that we wanted for sure. We got several illusions we didn't have. Um, some cool weapon ornaments, some cool shield ornaments, some cool pets. Let's see. Wonder how much that one would sell for. Harness of the Flaming Beast. Well, some of this stuff we might be able to turn around and sell, so. Wow. That is some major disappointment, though. We got the uh, stone gar redstone gargoyle graphic. We got some, we got an eagle graphic. We got a spider graphic. Uh, we got a crystalline beetle graphic. We got a couple gobble gobble turkey graphics. About $200 worth of pack opening. Um, and we didn't get the illusion that we want. So maybe, uh, maybe next time we'll get lucky. It seems like we still have a uh, a month or so of uh, this Legends of Norath specific pack, Stormbreak. We're going to see what else we can try to get. Um, in the meantime, that is it for this video, y'all. Thanks for watching me spend money stupidly, and I'll see you all in the next one.